This is to just show you what's going on here. We're getting the house up to sell and he's painting the deck. He wanted that for his birthday and his birthday's coming up Monday. So this is the Back to Eden garden. We have several barrels of compost and wood chips and I have in them pots up there on the deck, right up there, um, radishes up and we also have beet greens up and I started non-GMO seeds. Um, the yard is coming along. It's a slow process. I haven't been out here much. I did the other day um, 10,000 steps though in gardening. As you can tell, we got daffs up. Some gardens are done like I started this one, but I got to get the weeds out and remulch it. So I'm going to show you the update See some of them, like one over there has been done, but this one here hasn't. The perennial garden hasn't been done. The herb garden, the chickens kind of did that. So yeah, I'll show you a few things. The um, full-size chickens, we enclosed that with, um, sorry about that, I stumbled, with a couple tops to make it dark so the roost would stop crowing. But he crows still at 5, so he was crowing 3.30, 4.30, and 5. So there are the adults, and I'll show you all the eggs. Move! Let me in! Move! Get in there! See all the eggs? And then there's more over there. She's been putting them in a clutch in, um, sitting on them, but I don't think she's brawny. So if these don't make it the 30th... I'm throwing them all out because, as you can tell, she's got them strewed today. So if they don't make it, I'm going to throw them. So I'm giving to the 30th, and then I'm going to open that up and let the babies all go together. Because, no, you girls aren't going out right now. No, no, you're not going out. I can't let them out to forge because we have some foxes that tried to take them. And we had some taken. So anyways, I'm going to show you the babies and the mushrooms. I have clothes drying on the line because I'm a prepper. Here's the mushrooms. These are all the logs. This is shiitake. We have lion's mane, which is right there. Shiitake. Um... Several different ones, and they're all coming. Some are drying up really quick. I've been having water on there, as you can tell, to give it moisture, but I got all these going. Over here, I cleaned out this back garden, which is over there. I got some of the bricks laying there that if they don't make it, they might come back next year. So this is my nettle, and this is high in vitamins. So I'm going to pick some of this pretty soon and either dry it or make a nettle soup because it's good for you. So let me show you the babies. Then I'll let you go because I have to go grocery shopping. I just posted a video for Weight Watches for planning for the week. And I'm going grocery shopping to get some of that food. So I can be ahead of the game and lose more weight. I've lost three pounds in the last two weeks. So I'm doing good. I'm going to show you the babies. And these are the babies. Get in there, get in there. See, they're getting quite big. Say hi. No, you're not going to come out. Not right now. You came out earlier. Get in there. We're letting them come out with the other ones. No, get in there with the other ones because we want them to do the pecking order. Because if they do the pecking order, they can be housed together. So, if the eggs are not hatched next week, or, or the 30th, we are going to take the eggs out and then let them all home together. I made these two reefs out of some vine that was growing on my trees. I'm going to decorate them. That's going to be a D DIY. Um, and I just wanted to bring you guys along for this today and let you know that the update of my home 
it isn't my homestead when I'm off the grid, but this home is paid for, the business is paid for. But I'm gonna be putting that camper on land soon and getting off the grid. Thank you for joining me. Have a great day. Bye-bye.